Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is just a quick impromptu video. I decided to quick hit a couple Goodwills while I was out doing um, some grocery shopping and some other errands I needed to run, but I thought I'd take you guys along. So it might only be like a 10, 15 minute video, but I figured you guys might enjoy it. And uh, I kind of want to see what they have at the stores. Now it's Monday and I don't usually go on Mondays because the colors haven't changed yet. They'll change tomorrow, but I just, I really feel like going out today. Um, excuse the way I look, I, it's so warm out today. It's so toasty. So I'm probably all, all glistening, but anyway, it, at least it's a nice day. Like it's going to be up in the eighties. So it's going to be toasty. So I want to kind of run my errands this morning, guess I've done and, um, go from there. But anyway, let's go see what they have today. All right, here we go. Not looking for anything in particular today. Just kind of see if they have anything fun. When I first walked in, I saw this really, really cute tray. Really pretty fall colors. I think they only want a couple bucks. Oh no, it's $7. Yeah, I thought that was a tad high for a tray. I had to leave it behind. They had a lot of Christmas items on their shelves. Oh, look at that. That wood ice bucket. I didn't even see it till I was editing earlier. I'm just so kick myself. Uh, anyway, but yeah, they had a lot of Christmas items, like a ton. I'm... I am all about it. I love that they keep the Christmas items stocked. These Santa Clauses are really nice if anyone collected uh, Santa Clauses. I thought their prices were really decent. I cannot remember the color, the sale color this week. I think it was blue. I can't remember. It was funny because as I go through this video, I see a lot of items that I like with the yellow tag. So I might go back later this week just to check on, <laughs> see if it is a yellow. Because that would be great because I found a lot of items that... I would get if I could get them half off. I love this little, I guess you call it like a votive holder, little town votive holder. That would look so pretty with the little houses lit up with the candles behind them. <clears throat> I think Glitter Snowman was fun. See, he has some issues there, though. Kind of taped on the bottom. Ah, uh, I'm a little nervous. I love these candy cane glasses. But the thing is, they weren't shiny. Now, maybe they're meant to be. Because sometimes a matte finish is intentional. But they they weren't really shiny. They were a really good price. See, and they were yellow tags. So if I go back later and they're half off, I might actually snag those. Okay, this, this... Oh, yeah, I was dropping things. It's making a mess there. I did clean it up, though. But a Tickle Me Santa... Okay, I thought that was a little odd. I almost bought this. This was so cool. It basically, it's just like, I don't know, like a cookie sheet, but for a gingerbread. You can make your own gingerbread house. That has all the details already on it. It was so heavy. I was trying so hard not to drop it. But how fun is that? I kind of wish I had snagged it, but I don't, say, I don't know if I'd use it. It's one of those things where I get caught up in the moment. And then later on, I'm like, why did I buy this? I'll never use it. They just had Christmas stuff galore. There's stuff like everywhere. And it was all really, well, I shouldn't say all. There's a few items that are really, really neat. But they definitely had a good, good selection. <clears throat> Sorry, it's that time of your allergy season, so I apologize. I have to keep clearing my throat. This was so cute. This, I, I should have bought this. It's only $2. Could have kicked myself. So I might go back Wednesday. If they have yellow tag and that's still there, I am so buying them. I have to say lately, Goodwill has had really good prices. I haven't really seen anything that I was shocked by, like in a bad way. They've been pretty decent, at least in my area. I can only speak for my area. These glasses I love so much. I I don't know if they're older or not. They're only $2. Again, yellow tag. So if I go back later and it's half off and they're still there, I might have to get those. I feel like I've seen these dishes before in my past. Like they look really familiar to me, but I'm not sure where I've seen them. 
Oh, that was neat. I think I saw a glass blower. I love the art. The picture itself was really pretty. I didn't buy it, but I like the picture. I like the Christmas tree plate. I liked it, but it was too country for me. Like, it wasn't quite my my style. The holly glasses were, were a good deal. They had a lot of good Christmas glasses. I just I already have so many. It's honestly tempting, but I have so much already. Let someone else have them and enjoy them. <clears throat> I think I was trying to get my camera to focus there. Apologies. Um, yeah, I love this bowl. The the saying was really sweet, families belonging to and believing in each other. But something about it looked really, like, I feel like it looked really good with roses in it or something. It kind of reminds me of the bowl that I passed up the other day at the flea market. I'm still kicking myself. The old metal look. A sweet little Avon mug. I'll be honest, I didn't know it was Avon until later on. I, there's a teapot. You'll see a little bit later on. Um... It matches this. It felt really cool in the hand because it was all like textured. Well, not textured, but had like the, the 3D imprint, I guess you would say. I love these little fairy houses to like put outside. I did a bunch last year. I got them from like Dollar Tree, I think. <laughs> it's like, is that like a Lisa Frank flask? Is that where that generation is now? <laughs> this was cool. I, I kind of have a feeling I, I could have bought this and sold it. I try not to do a whole lot of reselling. Been there, done that. It's a lot of work. I just don't really get into that. But for $5 for a Lennox snowman, I have a feeling he probably has some value. I did try to look him up, but I could not find the exact one. <clears throat> I thought these were like a solid metal, but they were actually very lightweight. And for only four dollars each, I don't think that was too bad. That'd be really fun to pull around Christmas time. Okay, this thing was really cool. Tell me what you think. I think this thing is upside down, and I think it's supposed to go into like maybe like a brass candlestick, and then you put it on top, and then the hole in the top there, the middle of the flower, maybe you'd put like a candle. Like I think that's what that's for. I was trying to figure it out. It was extremely, extremely heavy. This little precious moments thing. Have any of you seen where people take the precious moments figurines and they repaint them? Sometimes they're Disney characters, sometimes they're something else. I think it's a creative way to use them because most people don't want them anymore. I love it. See, again, a yellow tag. I gotta go back on Wednesday when everything's half off. Assuming they pick yellow, it could be red, blue, green, whatever, but I love her so much. It was so cute. I kind of wish I grabbed her, but I didn't have to have her and I figured if I hold on, and later on, there's a sale, and she's still there. I'm going to have to grab her. But yeah, see, here's the teapot. Very, very cute. Very pretty. Cute little cherub atop. Oh, I just need a cute little cottage porcelain house behind it. <laughs> Ugh, let's go back. A little creamer. It looks like a teapot missing its lid. Hand painted in a bun. A nice little set. I really wish the teapot would have had his lid. Not that I would have bought it, but... Okay. A UPS candy dispenser? I've seen it all. Again, a yellow tag, though. If I got that for half off, how hilarious would that be to have a UPS? <laughs> That's crazy cool. Do you guys remember Pamper Chef? Is that even still around? I remember going to Pamper Chef parties and all that. You have the apple peeler. I remember going to parties and seeing that thing being dis or used, displayed, whatever. 
these dishes were really fascinating to me because I love the the picture of the vegetables on each plate. They were very heavy. But like each plate had its own individual vegetable on it. <clears throat> Again, sorry for clearing my throat constantly. The onion. And then I wanted to see the big plates. So I'm like trying to lift these. They were so heavy. They're like 50 pounds. Like the tomato, obviously not, but... And these dishes, again, I've got to buy a UV flashlight. I lost mine, but I think these glow under UV. I think they glow green. They wanted four bucks each, which I felt was a little steep. They had so many there. But again, yellow tag, if I go back and they're half off, I really hope their next sale is on yellow tag. It's because everything was yellow tag. This pan was really nice. Again, very heavy. Ten bucks, honestly, I know it's a thrift store. I don't think it's that bad for that. It was hefty. I don't know if it's vintage or not. But that sucker was sturdy at a nice wood handle. Ten bucks all day long anywhere is a good deal, even at a thrift store. This was nice too. Nice little cast iron pan. I think it said as is because the back had that burn on stuff. Like baked on, whatever. I don't think that would affect it though, like using it. I think it's her little gardening section. I don't know. The um, terracotta pots were not a bad deal. Again, yellow tag. If they have yellow tag this week and everything's half off on Wednesday, I really need to make sure I get a cart next time. I love the look of this. The stand and the little ceramic pot. I think if I got the stand, I'd want to repaint it. Like a really bright gold or something. nice bowl set they had each bowl price individually which sometimes bothers me but on the other hand i understand that if you just want like the two smallest or you need to complete a set you have but it's weird though because sometimes they'll have sets of glasses and they'll say one of four to like they'll be all four and they'll have like one price so i don't know why they don't do that for a bowl set whatever again yellow tag and this is Mikasa. i don't think it's crystal though i have to double check they don't go for a lot on eBay, but I was seriously tempted by her. This board has been at Goodwill for a little while. The past few times I've been there, it's been there. All right, I didn't find anything in there. There was a lot of cute stuff though, and I really like the Mikasa Angel. But I don't really decorate with angels, and I have no idea what I would do with it or where I would put her. So I left her behind, but uh, I kind of liked her. But honestly, to be fair, I kind of liked it. It was Mikasa and made in Germany. There's just something about that. It was just kind of cool. Anyway, on to the next Goodwill, and we'll see how that goes. All right, here we are at the next one. So far, nothing screamed, like, take me home. But maybe something in here will, will want me. As soon as, as soon as I got back to the housewares, this just jumped out at me. It's a really, I think it's one of those wash stands where you put a big bowl in it and you have a pitcher. They only went 10 bucks. Again, look, yellow tag. I swear, they, but their next sale better be yellow tags because everything I'm finding. I don't know where I'd put this, but I've always seen them. And I don't know. If I got that thing on sale, I might go back for that. Or if I got it, if it was on sale, I'd go back for it. Okay, this was cute, but this is one of my pet peeves. And I know I've said it before. But use for ornaments or decoration or whatever, you can't use it for food products. I'm sorry, if something's a plate or a little creamer pitcher, why can't you make it suitable for food? I don't understand why you're bothering that. Like, that's just, I don't know. Anyway, that's just my beef. I've been seeing that a lot lately, too. A lot of, like, decorative plates. Not for food use. Not for food. Then why are you making it? If you want to make art, then just make art. Why? Sorry. Sorry. Letting it go. <laughs> Another Santa Claus. And I like this too. I think this was a Valentine's Day gift to somebody. Look at the bottom. 21484. 
I was just a toddler at the time. Just a baby. It's pretty, though. These plates caught my eye. Again, look. Yellow tag. Only $2.99. To do another video on Wednesday. I'll go back and check everything. <laughs> and this I almost bought. Like I actually carried this around the store for a while and then I did put it down. Um, it is vintage Disney. It says um, Walt Disney Productions. Who was I watching the other day? I found a new channel and it was a gentleman who had said about Walt Disney Productions were like 1984 and before. I think it's Gino. I can't remember. I think that's who it was. I recently discovered the channel and I can't remember, so so sorry, but two dollars. It's a yellow tag. If I get the half off for a dollar, this cast iron pot was amazing. I wanted twenty four again, yellow tag. But that would be so nice to have, and I love this because I love the colors. I absolutely love the colors. I'm not into pheasants though or beer steins, but I thought it was cool. And I think we found the pitcher and bowl that goes to the wash stand. I'm guessing. And that price, as far as I know, was just for the pitcher. I think I guarantee the bowl's a separate price, like knowing Goodwill. I love this little dish, little soap dish. I just recently bought one, so I left it behind because I have no use for it. But it was pretty. I think use it for jewelry, too, or like anything, really. Oh, gosh. Okay, I love these. But I really honestly didn't think I'd, I'd use them, so I did leave these behind. But how cute are these? Measuring spoons for Christmas. And they were all ceramic. I just thought that was so, so fun. I forget how much they were. Are they $3? Yeah. Again, look, yellow tag. Seriously, I gotta go back on Wednesday or Thursday and just see if they're having any decent sales. I love this dish because it's like a ceramic mold. I guess you would use it for, I guess, really anything. Bread, jello, aspic, however you say that. I only know that from watching the uh, Julie and Julia movie. The Julia Childs thing. I like this picture and again yellow tag they're everywhere <laughs> and I'm trying to get a clear shot there these are, this was really cute. And there's actually another one here I'll show in a second, but I love the size of them. I'm not really into crusted as much as I am in cruel embroidery. That's a really good price for those. So I made sure that those were together because they were just like separate shelves. <clears throat> this picture is really cool. I don't know who the artist is. I was going to look it up. I didn't get around to it. I forgot to show the price. I believe it was $1.99. a bunch of odds and ends but see how like these these shelves if i can talk i can spit it out these shelves are just packed with stuff there's seriously a few years ago and they did have a different layout as well in the store but they had they would have hardly anything on the shelves i love that little dish it's so cute okay the next thing coming up i i can see it coming up in my bottom things I edit this hangover mug oh my gosh again look yellow tags this I should have just bought it was just hilarious I've never seen it before the pink elephants and the two adults <laughs> uh, uh, 
Yeah, I should have bought that. I'm gonna kick. I'm kicking myself now. It's a gorgeous Christmas canister. I'm wondering if there was more to the set or if it was just like maybe a cookie jar. I just thought this was pretty. Again, yellow tag. This sucker was heavy. Seen better days. Oh yeah, and I found a big old stack of really cool Disney vinyl records. I think all but one were in really good condition. There's one that's kind of tore up a little bit. Okay, I am done in there. They had a lot of good stuff. I swear, this store is like packed now. Back in the day, they weren't. Um, a lot of good stuff. I did, get, I did actually get a couple things at the store. Um, I did get the Disney records, and then I got this really cute little purse. One second, let me show you before, one second. All right, so I got this one. I've never seen these before, and the records look good. Like, I did check the records, so that's, they don't look scratched or anything. It's kind of nice because most Christmas records are only used seasonally, so they don't get a ton of use. And I think they're, the one I was looking at the Roman numerals, if I remember my Roman numerals, it's from 78 or 79. So it's still definitely vintage. But I just, I had to grab these. I There was one other Disney one I decided not to get. It was, the case was all ripped up, and a lot of... A lot of times, like, if they get ripped up, they're just going to get worse. So these are actually in really good condition on the outside and the records themselves. So, and they were like $1.99 each. So I feel like that was a really good deal. And then, oh, I'm so excited about this, guys. One second, I got to pull it around. This. Look at this. Look at this. The cuteness overload. Like, I'm not a huge basket person. I really don't really care about baskets. But this I love because it feels, just feels, I don't know, old anyway. And I could use it as a purse. Like, it's a really cute, cute, like, little idea for a purse. And it's like, it's hefty. It's got some, some weight to it. And it's got the little, I love the bottom. It's really secure. It's got the little brass feet. And I just love the picture on the top. The little mice or mouse, I think just one. Yeah, the one little mouse with the mushrooms. I love the mushrooms. And like, this one's like raised. It's like 3D. Like, help me zoom in just a little bit for you guys. You can see a little bit better. So I'm moving it around a lot. Like, look at that. Look how cool that is. Like, as soon as I saw it, I grabbed it. I instantly grabbed it. Oh, they're so cute. So anyway, there's no maker's mark on it. I don't know if it's like a little home project, if like a company made this. I have to do a little research, but oh, I love it so much. It's so freaking cute. Oh, can you blame me? It's adorable. All right, it is quarter after 11. It's already 80 degrees. It's piping. I still have to go grocery shopping. I have to get food for the dog because he's about out. So I got to get all that stuff done. But thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you had fun. And um, if you desire, if you want to, like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. You know, if not, that's cool too. But I appreciate it when you do. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.